Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain you the motion tracking feature of Realme 360 camera. Most of the people including me are buying this camera because of this special feature called motion tracking. After buying this camera, I search specific videos which explains this feature but I couldn't find one. So when I understood all the features of this uh, motion tracking camera, I thought of creating a video explaining the same. Now let's see this feature in deep. First we have to go to the setting page. So this is the setting page here. Here you can see the motion tracking option. You have to enable this. Once you enable this, then only the motion tracking uh, gets enabled. That means when there is a moving object, the camera just move uh, according to that motion. So it will track that motion actually. Now you have to go to the alert settings. Here you can see the alert push message. Once you enable this switch, then only the alert will pop up in your notification tab at the top. So this has to be enabled first. Then next one is schedule alarm. Once you enable this, you can see add now where you can define specific start time and stop time for getting the alert triggered. So you can put a uh, schedule a time to start the alarm and there is a time to stop the alarm in a day. Also you can set it for whichever days you want. So there will be uh, all the days in a week. So you can select like this and you can set it. Next you can see the motion toggle here. So once you enable that, the rest of the options also get enabled. So here you can see the alert sensitivity, which you can change it to any level, low, medium, high. Also it is written, uh, what is the speciality with respect to low, medium, high. I have put it at high level because for me, it is useful like uh, it is capturing all the movements and motion tracking, human tracking etc at the high level. So I just set it at high. Now I will explain you what is the difference between motion, human and sound. When you just enable motion, let's see what is happening. Here are few of the alerts which got generated. So when you just enable motion, even if it is a moving car or a human or part or moving object, it will mention as motion here and the alert says motion detected. So when you click here, you can play the video as well. So you can see human motion there and the alert says just motion. Now we will enable human detection toggle switch. So I have enabled it and let's see what is the change we have observed. After enabling human toggle switch, the alert came as human now instead of motion. So this is the one which got generated. And I think you can see the tracking all the uh, camera just moves according to my motion. Here the difference I observed is after enabling human tracking, sorry, human toggle switch along with the motion detection, I am only getting the human detection alerts. Here you don't see any other motion detection alerts after that. 
so that is what i observed after enabling human along along with the motion tracking motion alert so if you want to get a alert on all kind of movements or a motion in your watch area what you have to do is that you need to disable this then only you will start getting an alert on all kind of moving objects now i am enabling the sound alert here you can see the sound alert which got triggered i just honked my car horn and it got the alert got generated so it is pretty good this is the alert with code generated also you can see multiple lines here like a red color yellow color lines are there so the red color lines indicate that there is some kind of movement happened either it will be a object moving or a human moving and you can see yellow color light uh, lines there the yellow color lines shows that it is a sound alert so red color is motion alert yellow color is the sound alert now we have covered all the alerts setting here of uh, realme 360 camera also i will tell you few of the cons i felt with respect to this camera i have tested few of the low budget pcz cameras which are available online and what i found is that uh, those cameras can move in up and down direction as well as right and left direction when the motion tracking is enabled but when it comes to realme camera it can just move in left and dire right direction only when it is in motion tracking mode so that is the difference i observed i'll show you one example here you can see one of the human detection alert here so when i entered into the watch area it is moving left and di right direction only i tried going under the camera but the camera is not moving along with me to the down direction even i tested at the up direction it is not moving to the up direction as well so i found that this camera is moving in left and right direction only when it is in motion tracking mode here uh, one of the uh, most issue i felt with the low budget pt set cameras are there are lot of false alarms uh, from the camera when the motion tracking and alert is enabled also the camera set point changes uh, to different position after a number of automatic motion tracking movements so i choose uh, realme 360 camera over on top of that cameras one more feature i found missing in realme camera is that it does not have the uh, interval set time that that is the alarm interval we cannot set in realme 360 camera which i found the same options available in mi 360 camera so here the use is that when there is a continuous moving object in the surveillance area realme camera will trigger the alerts there are multiple alerts will be triggered within 1 minute but if we have the alarm interval setting then we can set the alarm interval to 5 minutes 10 minutes etc so after generating one alert in the same situation the uh, next alert will be triggered after 5 minutes or 10 minutes so that feature is missing in realme 360 camera thank you for watching my video i hope this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel if you like the videos thank you